Hello everybody out there and welcome back here to another showcase and review with the future once again. I want to thank everybody who subscribed, dropped any comments, left any kind of feedback. I really appreciate it here on my channel. And if this is your first time viewing and you like what you see here, make sure you do all that I just mentioned. I want to thank my dad big time for making this possible. Um, I love him very much and uh, I, I really appreciate this stuff more than he even knows I think. Um, I love my action figures, my Marvel, my comics, and I think he knows that too. Um, well, he does know that. Uh, he's my dad. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to show him this video as well. And I hope he likes it. And uh, I hope all my friends and uh, subscribers like it too. And uh, if this is your first time viewing, make sure you hit that subscribe if you like what you see. These are all Chinese bootleg too that he won off an online auction. And they're the movie versions of each of these figures, um, characters, I should say, respectively. Um, they came um, individually. Um, there was three to each pack. He did two packs, um, one bag. Um, they came in these Ziploc bags. I've already taken them out so I can take a closer look and get a little bit of a info on what they actually represented and whatnot. But here's another bag. And then they have these crinkly, you know, single packages that they kept them in. So they did a good job packaging these, in my opinion. And they sent them in this um, bubble um, envelope here, too. So uh, those bubbles, I love to pop them still to this day. But uh, China Post, you can see there. I hope you can see it there. Maybe not, but we'll show it here in a second. But uh, now let's um, take a look at the figures, I guess. Um, I want to thank my dad once again for making this possible, and I hope everybody enjoys it. And uh, I'm really digging them. And uh, let's check it out. So, um, here we have the lineup. And um, from the Marvel scene, we have Avengers Hulk, um, Avengers Thor, and Avengers Captain America is what I'm calling them, or Marvel Studios, um, Hulk, Captain America, and Thor. And then we have the movie version, uh, Christian Bell, uh, Chinese bootleg uh, Dark Knight Batman there. And then a Chinese bootleg Henry Cavill Superman. I actually got two of those, so we did get doubles. There was one Superman in each of the packs. Um, one of the packs had Captain America, Bat Batman, and Superman. And the other one had Superman, Thor, and Hulk. Um, but of course, I took them out to take a closer look real quick. and Because uh, I figured... Um, they were all the movie versions and I wanted to make sure um, but yeah very sweet and I uh, really appreciate it dad um, so yeah let's check this one out though um, I don't know why they gave me a, a smaller scale um, Hulk than the other figures he's only like a three inch as you can see here standing by or lined up by the other figures he's only three inch where the others are three and three quarter um, which doesn't really matter to me um, because I love this little Hulk. Um, I've never had a three inch or three and three quarter inch Hulk of any kind. These are not easy to find in this scale, really. And uh, I really like that uh, they did the Avengers um, outfit on them with the brown pants. And uh, it's the movie version all the way, the black hair. And uh, the likeness is pretty darn good, in my opinion, too. Um, I gotta say, um, of Hulk. Um, but yeah, he has a peg hole in the back, also peg holes in the feet. Um, his arms are articulated at the shoulders and the legs and the head. So you got five points of articulation on these figures as well on each of them. Um, the paint, they did a really good job in my opinion. Um, some of these bootlegs can be suspect on the paint jobs, um, but in my opinion, they did a pretty dang good job here on um, Hulk himself. So, uh, yeah, I'm having a hard time focus here on uh, Hulk right now for some reason, but uh, nonetheless, there we go. Nonetheless, pretty good detail on him. They made him pretty ripped. Um, but yeah, there's Hulk. We'll stand him back here. Um, these do come with peg holes, so you can try to find stands that fit these two. Um, there's all the packaging in the back again. Um, there's that envelope that it was sent in to show you that I'm not messing around. This is a Chinese bootleg uh, collection here. Two sets. And um, here is the Chris Hemsworth Thor along with his trusty Mjolnir there. He's the only one that can lift it. Um, and they did not 
you know, opt out on the paint apps on these. They went all out. You know, you got your silver and red. Um, you got your pretty sweet decked out silver um, armor there that he's wearing. Um, you have the beard, the hair. Looks pretty dang close to Chris Hemsworth in my opinion. Um, and also the soft good cape. I love that. And I love that they're only five points of articulation too. And you can see Mjolnir is remo removable. Removable. Um, so if you have another figure or something that needs a Mjolnir too, you could use that with him. Uh, but this is a three and three quarter inch Mjolnir, which is pretty cool. Um, three and three quarter inch uh, Thor, I do have um, a movie Thor, but uh, nonetheless, I don't have one in this style or bootleg, um, which I love my Chinese bootleg and uh, Marvel and DC. So my dad knows that. Um, so that's why he picked them up. But um, online auction, um, you can find some pretty cool stuff. This is the Chris Evans version of Captain America from the Marvel Studios movies. And he comes along with his shield. Um, and as you can see, they did a great job on the paint apps on this. In my opinion, he has a star with a peg hole in the back. And he does have peg holes on the feet. Um, I don't know if I showed the peg holes on the feet there very Star Wars like in the design um, you know with the arms just being you know swivel at the shoulder um, and um, at the hips you get the swivel leg um, but you do get some movement you know it's not really ball jointed but I mean I guess you don't really get too much movement outwards but a little bit of give there on the arm in and out so you could pose them in some uh, different ways, I guess. Um, but that's not what it's all about. I just put mine on the shelf like that. And, oh yeah, i got to put the uh, shield in his hand here. Hard to do with the uh, camera in my hand. But I'm going to try to get it done here. Might have to wait and do that after get them set up. So yeah, I'm gonna set them up later, but I can't do that with one hand. Anyway, you have the uh, Christian Bell Batman version here, and uh, if you're not thinking that that's uh, Christian Bell, look at that jawline. Um, looks just like him. I'm not getting a good focus right now on him though. Ah, there we go. So there he is, Christian Bell, Dark Knight version in all his glory. And you can see the paint apps were done very well. They have the bat on the chest, the Dark Knight logo. Um, give him the gold belt. Look at all the detail. Um, they didn't leave anything out. The fins off the gloves there. Solid black, soft goods cape. The cow, but yeah, as I was saying, looks pretty close to uh, Christian Bell in my opinion. So they did good. They did a good job on the likenesses on these too. Um, probably just uh, molded pre-existing figures. So um, if that's what they did, then they got pretty close. But if not, bravo to the designers on these. And then. Last but not least is the Henry Cavill Superman. And the reason that uh, I'm not really upset with getting two of these is you can see that there is some damage there on the head. Some silver damage. And I thought like, man, maybe that I could scrape some more of that off on the side and he'd be Cyborg Superman. Um, and I could probably get some of that eye off too. Um... But yeah, that'd be pretty sweet. Maybe the uh, hand as well is silver under that paint. Um, but if I could get some more paint off that side, Cyborg Superman would be sweet. So I'd have two figures, uh, one regular and one Cyborg. I mean, he's already got it started. Um, so why not? I thought it'd be a cool idea. See if I can get more of that off of there. Uh, but nonetheless, that's obviously Henry Cavill. 
um, and he's got the soft goods cape and the paint apps on the boots are very sharp not out of line uh, you got the gold Superman symbol logo on the chest um, no logo on the back of the cape I thought maybe they might have done that but Henry Cavill hairstyle and all the all blue Superman suit um, with the gold um, buckle there um, but that's how you know if it's the Henry Cavill version or the newer version because um, they got rid of the red underwear um, which I heard is making a return actually maybe I can get some red and actually give this one um, some red underwear and some red paint that'd be a good idea and then I'll show them off later but uh, nonetheless, very cool on the Henry Cavill version of Superman. I'm going to put this one back there. Here, he's got some pretty thin legs on him. Hopefully I can get this. This is where the Star Wars come in with the problem, too, when they have that thin legs you got to get standing. But they're all standing pretty well. His cape seems to be kind of messed up on this one, but we'll stand him up here. I took long enough trying to mess with uh, Captain America's freaking shield. Um, but here is... The other Henry Cavill uh, version, you can see he does not have any uh, damage to the face, so this will be my one that I won't mess with at all, and he's my um, go-to Superman 3 and 3 quarter inch figure for display, uh, but he will soon get an enemy in Cyborg Superman. I plan on doing that, so hope you don't mind, Dad. <laughs> um... A well, little bit of a red spotting on the knee, but yeah, I could probably get some blue marker and just fill that right in. Um, but yeah, nonetheless, that's the only um, paint, you know, scuff that I really see on these figures. It's it's bad. They did a good job, and uh, very fresh. And they have like that new toy smell when they're coming out of the bag too. So. Um, Henry Cavill. Superman, right there, obviously, in his all blue. Henry Cavill does a decent job. Man of Steel, Batman v Superman. They didn't give us a Ben Affleck Batman, but we got the Christian Bell Batman. Um, I'm going to put Batman over here by Superman. Get Thor up here. Um, I'm going to pause and uh, set these up, and uh, we'll come back and close this one out. Okay, well, here they are in the poses that I put them in they're ready for action and uh, all their glory I think they look pretty sweet all stood up and displayed next to each other um, so I'm gonna have to find somewhere to set these guys up um, yeah Henry Cavill Superman Cyborg Superman back there um, Dark Knight Christian Bell um, you got Hulk there in front, um, Avengers Hulk. Um, you got Chris Hemsworth Thor and Chris Evans, Captain America, um, from their respective films. And very sweet, all Chinese bootleg. I hope everybody uh, enjoyed taking a closer look at these guys and uh, getting a uh, up-close and personal look at some Chinese bootlegs. And I really appreciate the watch, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe, drop a comment down below, and give me a like if you like what you saw. Uh, big ups to my dad for picking me these guys up. And, uh, yeah, DC and Marvel are about to team up and uh, go destroy some villains. So, yeah, until next time, guys, I really appreciate the watch as always. And until next time, thanks for watching. And as always, oh, yeah, and thanks a lot, Dad. Peace out.